Before we get into the video, I must provide some background information about myself, so you will understand where I am coming from. I will also talk a little about the king of the passport bros or passport brothers. Yes, that is right. We have a king. I do not think that many people know we have a king. Well, I call him the king. For those who do not know, Passport Bros or Passport Brothers is a movement in the United States that refers to black American men going overseas to find a woman. Since the 1960s, white American men have been doing this, and it was called mail order brides. White American men would find a woman overseas, marry her and bring her back to America to live. Passport Bros or Passport Brothers, many, but not all black American men are finding women overseas and staying in that country. Thus, they are not bringing their new wife back to America. This movement has no clubhouse, no mission statement, and no organization. It is men who fall under a similar category. Many of the men in this movement are undesirable to the women in their country, or can no longer take the headaches the women in their country provides. Men enter this movement from many directions. Plus, many men have encountered women in other countries and later realize they fall into the category of passport brothers. Because of all of this, the passport brother movement has grown to include men who are young to old. Black, white, Asian, all races and many nationalities, men from the United States, men from Western and Eastern Europe, this includes Poland and Russia, and men from South America, Mexico, and Japan. Men are experiencing the same issues with women all over the world. In some countries more than in other countries. Many of these men are finding happiness overseas. This movement has made many women angry. It is because many women interpret the movement to mean that men find the women in their country unappealing. So unappealing that the man might be poor, but he is still willing to risk the little money he has, and spend over 30 hours on an airplane to get away from them. However, the movement really means that men are going to a place that treats them the best. So now, a little about me. I am old, poor and disabled. Thus, I can no longer work. Because I am poor and disabled, if I stay here in the United States, here in the city of Chicago, there is not a lot I can do when it comes to having fun. I am too old to go to the bars and the nightclubs, and I am too old to pick up beautiful women. Plus, Chicago is cold. So I decided to move to a warmer place with nice weather, where I can relax on a beach when I have nothing to do. Where relaxing on a beach is free, however, I do have three positives. I have no debts. I am 100% debt free. I have no children, and I am single. So I only have myself to worry about. Thus, I am like many of the men in this movement. The dog I have shown in a few of my videos is my aunt's dog. My dog died years ago. My channel is named after my dog. The images you have been watching are of Eastern Europe, South America, Thailand, the Philippines, and Vietnam. All have their positives and their negatives. Plus, links to the YouTube channels I will mention in this video are in the description. This video is mostly about this man and his Philippines girlfriend, who he lives with. He is over 70 years old, and she is 25 years old. Later in the video, I will let him tell his story. His income is only 800 United States dollars a month, which means that if he lived in the United States he would be so poor he might be living on the streets. She has no income, so he pays for everything. He pays the rent, the food, transportation, health care for both, everything. Women in other countries do not value the same things in a man as the women in the United States and elsewhere. This man is from Australia, and for the past 20 years he has lived in China, Thailand, Korea, Vietnam, and the Philippines. He said in these countries, the women like older men. Older men are seen as being more emotionally stable, meaning they do not drop their pants. From watching many YouTube videos and hearing other men's stories this seems to be true. This couple's YouTube channel is called Morena K and Family. However, Western European men have a bad reputation, especially British men. British men are known for coming to town, making a lot of promises to women, and then skipping town. And this is why for some of these countries, if you are a white man, it is pay for play. Black American men have a good reputation. This is because there are not that many black American men that visit these countries, and the ones that do, are the good ones. Ours, or black American men's reputation comes from many believing that we come from single family households. Thus, it is believed by many of the women in these countries that black American men have a lot of respect and consideration when it comes to women in general. Black American men are known to help with the cooking, the cleaning, 
and are hands-on when it comes to the children. White men are not known for this. During my research, I discovered that it can cost the same to travel from country to country compared to only living in one country. This man has been traveling from country to country for the past 12 years. His YouTube channel is called Vagabond Awake. And for the past four years, he has been traveling with his Malaysian girlfriend. She was a fashion model in Malaysia, thus not a digital nomad. Thus, some men meet a woman during their travels, and then they travel together. He stays in one country for about one to three months, then he takes a bus to another country, and only when he has two, then he takes an airplane. Then he buys the cheapest airplane ticket he can find and starts the process over again. This has allowed this couple to travel all over Southeast Asia, South America, Mexico, Central America, and Eastern Europe. His budget, which includes food, accommodations, transportation, and the cost of two airplane tickets, is between 1,000 to 2,000 United States dollars a month. He makes his money from the internet. The point is that there are a lot of different ways to live, different ways to enjoy life that do not cost a lot of money. Ways to live that I did not know about, and ways to live I figured that many others do not know about. This man is named Danny, and he is the king. This man has style. He has been traveling for over 10 years. A player has to lie and manipulate. A playboy only has to be himself. This is the woman he started traveling with, and she is from Ukraine. This is the woman he is traveling with now, and she is from China. These are just some, a small few of the women in between. Thus, Danny might travel alone, but he is never alone. Look at the top. Look at the title of his video. It is called How to Approach Girls, Works Every Time. His channel is called Danny Got a World to See. There are many other men that are doing the same thing as Danny. The difference is that most of these men find one woman to travel with. How old is Kylie and how long have you, uh, been, you two been together? Kylie is going to turn 25. Oh, she's going to turn 26. See, I don't even know. Uh, I thought she was turning 25. And in January of next year, I turned 72. Wow. So we got, I think that's 46 years difference. Okay. Uh, how yeah. long have we been together? Right. Uh, uh, she came in two, 2019 when she was just a baby, 23. And so it'll be three years this coming April that we've been together. Wow. That's, that's cool. And so, so Randy, one of the things in our last interview last year, I think people were really surprised by was how little money you're able to live on in the Philippines. Can you give us an update on what your budget is now? My current income, oops, sorry. Uh, is 811 US dollars per month. So, so, so your, bu I, your budget last year was uh, 551. And your check you said is 811, is that right? Eight, right, 811, which is several hundred below poverty level in the US. Poverty right. level right now is 10, 1073 $1,073 a month. Uh, my rent now is 5,000 pesos, which is right at a hundred bucks at 50 to one. And my rent and my water's like nothing, 300 pesos or something. And the trash. And what's the other thing? Oh, electric. This yeah. air con, can you see that air con? This is on low and it runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 31 days a month, it never shuts off. And what's it and run? That bill costs me, that runs me a little less than 6,000 pesos, just a hair over 100 bucks a month. Okay. So my first 200, 200 or so goes for paying bills. 
Okay. And now I got six hundred. I got six hundred left now, and all I got to do is eat. Sixteen dollars a day is what I'm spending on food. And fifty pesos uh, 50 for three pesos days. For, yeah, ten bucks a month. Are you happy? I don't have words to tell you how happy I am. <laughs> it is wonderful to have a partner like Kylie. Uh, I'm very happy. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video. For a free copy of my music, go to my website. Remember, my music is only background music. Right now, my music is free, but if I have to start paying for extra services, then I might have to set a price for a download. If you want to know how to create your own music, then go to my other YouTube channel and look for the word GarageBand. Creating your own music is easy. I did it and I cannot play a musical instrument. If you want to know how to translate a video into other languages, then go to my other YouTube channel and look for the word translate. The links are in the description below.